Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy, and today I want to show you how to bake the greatest Basque style cheesecake I've ever tried. Each country has its own style of cheesecakes, it seems like every country cooks one. And uh, the famous one as well from the city of New York, you know, I like them in all sorts of ways, whether they are, uh, you know, just cold by whipping, meringue style, uh, with berries, chocolate, you name it. But to me, the one that tastes the best is the one that it's baked. And in particular, this recipe. I got inspired by a friend of my wife who brought a cake, a, a, a similar cheesecake, for her birthday. And I thought, oof, I haven't cooked one for a very long time. So I sort of started perfecting it. And I think I have the best recipe out there. I know it's a big statement to say, but uh, I hope you can try it. And the good news is that this recipe is incredibly simple. You know, easy ingredients to find, but as well, it's less about the technique itself. You can either blend it, whisk it, use an electric mixer, an electric whisk. You know, that makes little difference. It's all about the quantities, the ingredients, and how do you bake it in the oven. So let me run you through the ingredients. We're gonna need some vanilla essence of the cheap one. If you have some vanilla beans, will be even better. Five eggs, but in this case, they are very small, so I recommend you to get four medium or large. Caster sugar, cream cheese, double cream, and manchego cheese, and then for the base, butter and digestive biscuits. We're going to start preparing the base for our tart. So first place a small saucepan over low heat with the butter. And we not just want to melt it, we want to toast it slightly until it has a brown that color. Separately, we are going to crumble the digestive biscuits, whether using a robot like I did, or just uh, using your own hands or with the back of a bottle of wine or a saucepan. And, and turn those biscuits into crumbs, which we are going to mix together with the toasted butter. Now to create that uh, base layer of digestive biscuits, we are going to uh, line the spring foam mold with some parchment paper that we want to run with a little bit of water uh, just so that we can scrunch it and uh, it's easier to shape into exactly the bottom of the spring foam mold. You will have to fold some of the edges, but it should be a pretty easy job. And now place the crumbs of digestive biscuits and apply some pressure with the back of your hand. You can use anything that has sort of a flat base, but make sure you sort of push it towards the edges and the bottom of the, of the mold itself. Um, it'll turn out better later on. And now we're going to start with the cheesecake itself. So first we're going to finely grate the H Manchego cheese. If you have a good jack blender, you won't need to grate it so finely because your jack blender will, will completely blitz it into very small pieces. Crack your eggs, put your cream cheese, your sugar, the vanilla essence, and now it's just a matter of whisking it so that all the ingredients that dilute and come together. If you are using a blender, you'll see it becomes a lot easier, but as well, something that I need you to know is that it will become uh, a bit more liquidish, but it makes no difference to the final taste. Now add your double cream just as a final ingredient, otherwise it will whip a bit too much. You'll see the thickness now in the image, uh, but um, yeah, just pour it into the mold itself. Flatten it up uh, a little bit just by banging it on the table and goes straight into the oven at 190 degrees for about 45 minutes. Let's take a look at this cake. Take a look at that wobble. Instinctively, you would think of leaving it for longer because it looks like it's undercooked. But actually, this texture makes for a perfect, fudgy, creamy center, or heart as I like to call it. And that's what's so special about this recipe is the cooking. And that wobble that you've seen is exactly when you need to remove it. Don't leave it inside for any longer. And as well, this cake is better enjoy at room temperature. So I'm just going to leave it here to set for about five hours 
and then we'll give it a cut. See you in a bit. Hi everyone! So, seven hours are gone. We've been out enjoying the day and uh, it's cake time. And I have here the two most fierce and impatient food critics. And so it's time for tasting. There you go. <laughs> so let's give this a cake a try. You see, it has a beautiful crust on the outside. I am really hopeful that it has, it has a nice and soft and gentle, delicate inside. I'll give a nice cut over here with the biscuit on the bottom. Take a look. Ooh, whoop, hop. there you go. <laughs> That's okay. And take a look at that cleanliness. Come closer if you can. Check it out. You see, it's not fully set exactly what I was looking for and what I mentioned before. Oscar, how is it? ¿Qué tal está? ¿Está bueno? ¿Y tú, Noé? ¿Lo has probado? How is it, Noah? I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Let's see. Don't give too many sweets to, to kids, but uh, today's boy's night, so it's a special. And one of the beauties of this cake as well is that the outer part is different than the inner part of the heart. It's completely different texture. How did you find it? I liked it. I liked the really creamy bit in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Well, there you go. They said everything they need to know. Oscar. <laughs> it's must cheesecake. But anyway, I that hope you enjoyed the recipe. Good. I hope you give it a try, let me know how it goes in the comment box below and uh, thank you everyone for watching and for the recipe, you know where to go, go to the, to, to the website. See you next time, decir adios, decir adios. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.